Welcome everybody, this is episode 20, welcome, this is Tristan Shop Talk, and welcome to the new set. Welcome Ahmad. This is, uh, it took a lot for us to both be here right now. It took a lot, like a lot. But even for me to even get to episode 20. Like this episode 20, other than the other one, which is 19.5 that we did do, which I did post on that one. But now I posted what I did post was just on Instagram. But there was another episode, which was 19.5, which was TST 19.5. But that one I only have audio for because I was still having problems trying to get this whole setup. Yeah. So here we are. We got the new setup. Definitely enjoying my setup. I kind of aim the lights a little bit differently so it's not so, so in our eyes because actually you know i want to look out in the crowd you know yeah. as if there is a crowd out yeah, there the but crowd. our our fans looks like it could are, be though our me. my my fans your fans our fans, <laughs> yeah, fans fans for for the future to come or yeah. i guess more fans to come but other than that this is episode 20 uh, a lot going on just glad that i'm back very glad that i am back I don't even know how else to put it because uh, earlier we were gathering some ideas and uh, we got some ideas going. Uh, but like overall, the, this is just the anniversary because I remember the first episode Ahmad was here. Yeah. And that was cheers to that. Yeah, cheers then, to that. Is it the anniversary? Well, no, no, I'm just saying actually. Cheers oh, to that. Yeah, yeah, damn. I thought we were too far away. Yeah. Oh. Okay, my bad. So, um, that being said, <laughs> this is the 20th episode. From now on, I'm definitely, and this is what's going to make me push myself because I am a student now. Mm. I'm a college student again. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 22 again. Yeah, what are we studying? I'm 22. and I'm, I'm social work. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. social work. But see, I'm not trying to be this liberal social worker. <laughs> You're gonna be a conservative. You know, that's saying, "Oh, I'm trying to blame." You know, it, it, oh, you know, he didn't have a father, or she didn't have a father, or she didn't have a mother. No, I, I don't give a fuck about shit like that because, from my experience of working the hospital for so many years, you know, this is the next level. So, see what happens. My my whole point to the whole social work is. It's always been something I'm interested in. Mm. Also, it's a lot of reading on doing a lot of reading on the civil rights. It's a lot of reading on. Um, man, I mean, I bring up civil rights. You've but already my, been going but, to class. Well, no, I had I'm, 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 <laughs> I had to retake a class. So I'll be honest, I had to retake a class. Uh, so, so you've taken this course of study before, right? Uh, okay. And then, so I'm now I'm just taking the next like the next step. So I'm yeah, going well, a little further. Luck. All right. So and you've been sure. down there already. The, down that down that path no 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 like two uhd this year yeah yeah well i mean I'm, I'm i'm doing online so uh you don't yeah. go to school you no. do it oh man yeah no no well, no 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 i'm gonna do no no this is gonna prep me for next semester so yeah so this is also campus then? yeah so this is also gonna be like my my you'll meet women there no this is <laughs> i'm not there for for any women yeah I'm, but i mean <laughs> you don't have to be you just have to be there and there's women there and it's just natural. I'm there so. for edu my education. Of course you are, but, you know, you got time for other stuff, too. Plus, so. I just want to hear about it. I just want to hear what the girls look like over there. I just wanted you to tell me. I'll never <laughs> go down there. <laughs> that's, that's what you Unless I about. go and, you know, go back to school. But So that's the new venture for me. Um, okay. This new setup now, we got, we got it set up, or I got it set up. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just kind of came over. No, no, no. But like I said, you always help out when it comes to uh, definitely having a co-host, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah. definitely. <laughs> and then it helps out garage apartment. Garage apartment. I'm guessing it's still somewhat breathing. I mean, it's still alive. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, you're still garage apartment. I would say. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all are. You know, even when we go dormant. So you know, from just dormant right now. So, it's still a thing. there's still a social media presence. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is my, you know, there's always been, I think there's been like some meme where the memes, like, you know, like, like, damn fool, just go to, uh, 
go to uh, therapy. Uh huh. But I mean, no bullshit. This is where I like some like my therapy where like it's almost like I don't have to go nowhere. Like me right now, I'm just here. Right. So it's like, um, because a lot of this, like I said before, this is what's carried over from when I used to do uh, actual sessions with other veterans. And okay. then, you know, and then, you know, then at that, that time, you know, it was just being preventive from things, I guess, you know, when I got back, it was just things I just like, you know, having trouble just to transition to civilian life in a way, you know? Yeah. And then, I, I mean, it always it. makes you, it always makes you sound like, you know, it always makes me sound like I'm like a, like con- convict or something. But no, it was just like, I mean, I, I like my point was like, I think it was worse. Back in the sixties and seventies, but like I said, this this is the whole transition of me having the podcast. Mm. This is the whole reason why I I'm gonna always have it. I feel <clears throat> me expressing what's going on with myself um, applies to a lot of different things. Yeah, with other people, uh, me still understanding why <laughs> technically I'm single mm. versus in a sense where what do you want to be. Well, uh huh. What do you want to be? You're single. Yeah, but, you uh, but, but see that? I mean, that was like a few in the early episodes. The early episodes is more of that. Yeah. But right, right now, like I said, no, I mean, I, I, am, I, am, still I am seeing somebody, but at the same time, <laughs> but Niger. I am seeing somebody, but I'm saying at the same time, like that's still keeping private. But, you know, I like to see things kind of just private. But on the other end, uh-huh. when it comes to scenarios and situations that I don't want to talk about Scenario. or things that have happened on social media or things like that whole adam 22 that shit's still interesting to me what what about adam 22? so like you know with the whole podcast is uh-huh. uh adam 22 uh his wife lena plug you know went and had a scene done and the scene was done with um some dude <laughs> named jason love and he's another porn actor yeah and so, uh, I don't know how long after the wedding. See, this, I mean, in well, pod, they have in, a child. Well, right now in podcasts, you know, like news right now. We're, we're this is a late topic to even be talking yeah, about. You know, so like, yeah, yeah, it is. So you know, in the podcast world, you know, things go minute by minute. You know, yeah. and you got to be on the fucking point. You Did know, you with see that any of that? Uh... No, nah, I didn't watch that shit. You did? No, nah, I mean, I mean, I mean, but but that was like apparently a big deal, you know. Was but it? then, you know, and then it was a big deal. Then there's other, that other weird shit with the Island Boys. That's some other weird shit going on with the Island Boys. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. Somebody I, I, kissed somebody. I haven't looked that shit up. Somebody either. kissed somebody, right? Yeah, man, yeah. dude, like twins, like doing some weird shit. <laughs> and my buddy, he's a twin. So like when, like he's the one that brought it up. He's I mean, like, it's yeah, like bro. Kissing yourself. And then, you know? no, no. But I actually, when when he brought it up, I actually thought about. It, I was like, why is he bringing this up? And then I was like, oh yeah, he's a, he's a twin himself. <laughs> uh, he goes, yeah, yeah, man. He goes, that's fucked up, man. That's yeah. like incest and shit. Like that's like I mean, that's, weird. Yeah. He goes, I mean, like, it's <laughs> like he goes, like why would I want to kiss like 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 you know that's just fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. That I mean, it's not even incest. Up. It's masturbation. I don't know, man. They're identical I, I, twins. They're nah, the man, same that. person. <laughs> no, seriously, they're the same person. Have the same DNA. They're identical twins. They're the same person. Yeah, it's still fucking. That's weird. That's why, man. like, you know, if you get caught, that's for still a crime, two different minds, though. That's, that's I mean, it's, it's two different fu- beings. It's yes, still but weird, dude. If you get caught uh, for a crime and you have a twin out there, like we got your DNA, it's like, well, there's reasonable doubt because I have an identical twin. So yeah. they have the exact same DNA. So. I mean, I, it's an odd thing to do. <laughs> but, that, but, it really is. but it's but, an odd thing to be an identical twin. Two of my favorite cousins are identical twins, but it's an odd thing seeing them interact. But overall, what I'm saying, it's like one of the crazy things going on right now. You yeah, know? There's is, a lot yeah. of crazy things going on right now. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> aliens are 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 here, and nobody cares. Um, Biden. <laughs> Our is, aliens here. Biden is uh, was embezzling millions of dollars through his son. Um, embezzling from who? Different countries are saying. So I'm all over the place, but like yeah, I said, no. But like I said, it just don't go. It's this, still uh, 
No, it's still going on with the introduction of this, where it's just all over the place. But yet again, this nah, is but still you're high taking this down a certain path right now. Nah, not really. I'm just saying overall, like there's a lot of th- different things. Who going is Biden on. embezzling money from? Companies. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. Was embezzling I didn't see the documentation. I didn't see the paperwork. Yeah, you know, is that exactly what happened, Danny? That's almost like talking about like yo, like like I was there for that Armstrong shit, you know, or some crazy shit like Armstrong. that. Armstrong. Yeah, did you hear about that shit? That's some crazy shit. Like, a lot of people have a lot of comments about that. Okay, about, about what? Tell me about this. They have a I lot of comments about, about that Armstrong Jr. trial. Ah! And the whole comment about that's it very, is that, that. That's a local thing? I wonder how national that is. <clears throat> but it's very local. It happened in Bel Air. Well, I mean, it's sad because it was a, he was a, you know, it was a father and a mother. And then, you know, there yeah, was a, two, two children inside the house when uh-huh. this occurred. And then it happened. But then it's still kind of yeah. weird. And, yeah, it took him three trials. But my point is, even on that end, that like, boy. I wasn't there. You weren't there. Nobody was there. Like the only people who know who did that are the people themselves, and honestly, possibly that gentleman, the son. I don't know the guy personally. Possibly. I don't even know. I don't even know the backstory on it really. I just know that he was accused, uh-huh. and he was. So you're saying allegedly on this one, right? No, no, I'm not even saying that. All I'm saying is that yeah, on paper, on paper, uh-huh. this fool was like he was guilty. Like okay. they, they like evidence only by the court. Him. Like you're not saying he did it, but you know. Well, I mean, like you I just said, accused the president. Like I said, of I s- money. like like along with so much information out there right now that <laughs> you can barely keep up with. AJ Armstrong. There's so much information out there. Like that was just one of the avenues. Like I maybe I read a few articles about yeah. it, and then a few articles at the time because this trial has been going over and over. Well, it's been a series of trials, and it's been seven years. But so with that, you know, somebody married him. Like, yeah, it was his, his high wife school, was there. It was his high school sweetheart. I mean, like, what did her parents think of this? Like, when, high school, when they have she a was son. like, "Yeah, I'm, I know." I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Like the whole thing. I'm looking at her. They're like, she was crying and she ran out of the courtroom. I'm like, like why? Like why did you plan a life with this man? Yeah, uh, he was never going to get acquitted. There was always mistrial, so they can try him again. And they were gonna make they were gonna make that shit happen. They made it happen too. Yeah. No, but that was part of the whole God women, man. They no, but that was also painting the picture. Maybe she thought she was gonna get money out of it. Maybe what money? I don't she was know. gonna get no money. This nigga comes with lawyer fees already. Like, yeah, I don't know how that. Who's paying right? these? You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga <laughs> going to court every two years for like a major trial. Yeah. So, uh, oh God, yeah. But like uh, I said, like nowadays, there's a white so, girl so, at that. Like, were her so, parents like, "Look, man, like, come on." There's, there's just <laughs> so many. Going to jail. There's just so many things going at on right now. So yeah. many things that 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 is beyond. That Armstrong me. thing was crazy it's though. Beyond me, it's beyond you. Yeah. It's beyond. But hold on, hold on. Let's go back to this because that was a big story, the Armstrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And like, it's been a, it's been a, 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 a long a long uh, ordeal for us, for people in Houston. We've been hearing about it for seven years. And it finally ended today. No, there was like posts on Facebook. Oh, was it today or was it yesterday? I don't remember when it was. I know I saw it today. There was posts on Facebook, on posts on the Facebook. We were just talking about, yeah. um, you know, what occurred. And yeah, I wish we could get his it. wife on. Yeah. I wish we could get his wife on so we could talk to her about this. I wouldn't mind talking to her about it. Oh, I would love to because I, I would want to know what she was thinking. Like, did you, oh, God. Like, if, if you're going to plan, could you plan your life with the worst, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to have children with you. We're going to be married. And it's like, he's going to jail, ma'am. No, I wouldn't mind hearing point. her side. Oh, God, I would love to. It's going to be all her about side. Her side love. would definitely be interesting. Yeah, to hear just somebody be what she dumb girl in love. Okay. But I would have to do a lot more research, and I already have two classes I have to do already. You know. So. Uh, yeah. So why? You know. Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll be interested though. I'll still look into it. Like. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's a. We should do a podcast series. No, but the, that. the, but that's what I'm saying. This is the base of the podcast from this point on for past episode twenty. Um, the whole base of this podcast is pretty much. Uh, Ideally, to have surrounding stories about Houston. Mm. I mean, like I said, every day, man, I look That's at this. I look at this newspaper, and whether the information is a hundred percent true or yeah. not, the the acts did occur, 
and they're all basic simple acts you know of crime of or or and then you know i would say maybe 20 percent of it is like i look at it and then maybe the top stories are like good things that have happened or good things that are happening but lately man from the weather to yeah ufc to armstrong to Mandel having a Netflix show, you know, <laughs> fucking documentary to, I mean, yeah, to me doing stand up to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's go to you doing stand up. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but so, okay. So I've been doing stand up and open mics, but most of the open mics have just been open mics that have. Uh, I'm not going to say all the open mics I do, but uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're part of Secret Group and they're also part of. Uh, also downtown off of Maine. <laughs> I will say that. Yeah. Downtown off of Maine. Yeah. Yeah. Because, well, I've been trying to get some guests from there or, you know, get some other comedians to come on here and just kind of talk to us and let us know what's going on, you know? Yeah. Let us know why are they doing it, you know? Yeah. So, but overall, I mean, I think there's enough going on to, to, have things to talk about even when I do my stand up. So the whole point of the stand the stand up I've been doing, obviously, like I said, I've been doing that shit for a minute. Well that's actually like the therapy, right? Well at the time it used to be just like me just going up and just saying stupid shit and <laughs> most of the time I would talk about my dad and I wouldn't get any laughs. Usually the the host would pick up where I left off. <laughs> then they'd be laughing at me. <laughs> well, sorry, they'd be laughing at me more than laughing uh, at I my mean, jokes. I, you know? The point is <laughs> to get them to laugh. Yeah, it was cool. You know, like, I didn't care. You know? At least they're laughing. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. I mean, you got to work it out, man. But no, so now, now, now I've, I've tackled the whole, I don't have to drink. I don't really have to drink that much. Okay. I don't really have to do... Uh, you don't have to uh, get liquid courage to go up. Yeah, I don't have to get like liquor, like literally liquor. I don't have to do like shots. I've done shots. Yeah, um, and then just going up there like, Whoo! oh yeah, I've gone up there and be like, and just be like, talk, man, talk you shit. Know, like, shit's fucked up, man. You know, like you know. I was like, that's uh, what I do if I got up there drinking. Like you know, man, like shit's fucked up, man. Like for real. And even at the time, most of my material was based on like. Things that were going on, current events, things like that, you know. Because mm -hmm. if, if it's one thing I carried from, from, from anything was just to know or yeah. just have conversations were drawn from was the newspaper. Right, so right. I always felt like even the newspaper, even in high school, high school I definitely had. You uh, still read a newspaper? Yeah, I do. You do. You buy the Chronicle for three dollars. No, I don't buy it. No, I buy. It. I just read. You mean Chron.com? Yeah, I just do the Chronicle. Uh, okay. And then usually I do, you know, I do other sources too. And right. I try to like keep a vary of what things that I read. Mm -hmm. And I do more reading on that, but then I do definitely do a lot of YouTube searches and yeah. stuff like that. But I know there's a lot more people out there that do a lot more. YouTube's like, more oh man, a lot of people do a lot, a lot of more like, like searching, deep searching, like crazy, stupid searching, like. I don't know. I, I even I'm not gonna say stupid searching, but I would say just like you have enough time to go that deep, that deep to think about like. Well, the thing takes you that deep. Yeah, like the whole it big mic you thing, the you know. Big Mike. Yeah, Big Mike. You know, I don't know about that. Who one. Big Mike? Big Mike from. You don't know about Big Mike. If you haven't heard about Big Mike, I'm not gonna. Big Mike, Mike, the rapper. Yeah, because I don't even want to get thrown off. Like even for my thing to be even put on. Who's Big I don't, Mike? I want to get. I don't want to get to be drawn. Like Big Mike from, hold on. You don't know about Big Mike? Who's Big Mike? Big Mike. Which Big Mike you talking about? Big Mike. Tied into Obama. <laughs> what? Who's Big Mike? Is Big so Mike on, on the internet? There's is a Big lot of Mike things. the chef. No, the chef is the one that died because he uh -huh. found out apparently he found, some secret. Big. Oh God! Tell me you're not talking about Michelle Obama. No, you said the name. <laughs> oh God. Okay, okay. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't. Okay, I don't. Man. I personally don't Hopefully believe it. Not. But there is people out there who do believe in this. There's shit. people out there believe all, the Earth is flat. But I mean, like, okay. So yeah, Michael, Michael Robinson, right? Yeah. I mean, are we gonna get thrown off for saying that? No, no. Ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, okay. 
That's why I didn't <laughs> want to go and like say it. You fucking said it. Like, I, like, I you. mean, yeah, I had to. Because there's a couple things going on with people. Well, not Big Mike from the ghetto. But I, at first, I was like, Big Mike. Well, yeah. And but then I was thinking of Michael Orr, the, but, the blind side. And, you know, he's suing his, uh, you know, cons- his uh, conservators or, or whatnot for that movie, The Blind Side. He says, you know, they made $300 million off of it. And. He got like two hundred or something. Now that now that was interesting. That was real interesting. Did you did you see that? You know of that story? Yeah. In your reading of uh, Cron dot com. Yeah, I mean, I I well, no, I mean, even other sources was uh, the father replied back and said that yeah, no matter what, we'll always still see him as like kind of a son, you know, kind of like, a, like uh, yeah, a son you uh, made they money off of. They had a great. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, see, see, my whole thing them. is why didn't he? I mean, that shit was a long fucking time ago. He could have come back a lot earlier. Um, and, pe- and, like, the father was like, hey, man, we're worth over $100 million. Like, I want to know where they got that money from. But they're worth over $100 million. Like, why would we steal from him? That kind of thing. But I still feel it's like with anything, there's always the, another end to the story. Like, I mean, that's it, just, that's it, well, always. There's at least two that we know of. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's always been, and you, you can even vouch on that. Like, there's always been the things where. Way back in the day to now, there's like that American happy story of the good guy versus the bad oh, guy. Oh, yeah, they definitely. And all um, that shit. Well, no, and I mean, things never really work out like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, the way for him to come out like that, I think was kind of like. No, it was probably, definitely a hell of a, uh, like, the story itself. Like, I, well, it's a publicity. I, I believe it has a lot to do with, like, like, like publicity, public yeah. relations, I mean, it was just, all this shit with the NFL. Look, look no, no, him, no, no. The Let church. me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, like this is okay. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It gets, it gets comp- to, to to you. You might understand it like 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 down to like what it's supposed to be is. But that's what I'm saying. It's just like with everything going on right now. But once the story is listed, maybe some people won't read it. But then some people just think, oh, I knew it. Okay, but see with Michael Orr. Okay, see this is the thing. So even the Sandra Bullock I'm not even movie, be negative. Uh, be negative. Sandra Bullock movie, The Blind Side, right? Okay, so I remember when that shit came out. I knew who Michael Orr was, and just looking at the story, like you know what happens is you know people get bits and pieces of your story, and they're like, okay, this shit sounds like it would be uh, something nice. Um, it could be a. a you know, a feel good story like that because it really was a it was a Disney movie. It was a fucking made for TV movie, and I looked at it. And I knew it was bullshit. First off, these are some this is in Memphis, right? Um, these are some white people from went to Ole Miss. <laughs> now the thing is, I never believed this shit in the first place because I saw what the movie was about. All you had to do was watch the fucking trailer and you already had the whole movie. That's why I never went to see it. And the shit was ridiculous and I've read things about it and talked to people who've seen it so I know enough about it, okay? I don't have to see that bullshit to know it's bullshit, right? <laughs> okay? And he was complicit in it. His ass was just stupid. Everybody around him was stupid. I'm sorry to say. Like, all those black people failed black people in that, um, in this scenario, right? So... The story of the movie, right? So in the movie, right, yeah. the uh, son, right, the Tui's youngest son, right, uh, somehow, uh, I see, and this is where I don't know because I didn't see the movie, but he oh, becomes like... friends with Big Mike. Right. Right? The big Michael Orr, right? And he's this black kid that, you know, goes to the school, not not the same school as him, but he lives in the projects around the corner. He they see him walking down the street, and he doesn't have a jacket or anything on. He's wearing shorts, and it's cold. Yeah, the, the, the fool's like all yeah, quiet. So they and get shit. him, and they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll, you know, this is fucked up. We're going to take this kid, and we're going to teach him how to play football. Like, okay, so that's where I got it, where the whole thing didn't make any sense. And that's, I remember the first time I heard something about it was back when it first came out, and he was pissed off about that part, right? Because they said right. he didn't know how to play football, right? Okay, just so happens these people happen to be really big Ole Miss football boosters. They see this giant 6'4", 280-pound boy walking down the street. And they're like, okay, well, you know, all the kids in Memphis that are fucked up, we're going to take this one in, you know. And then, hey, you want to play football? You're big. Oh, excuse me. You know? 
Right. And he never knew how to play football, right, supposedly, which was total bullshit because, look, the black community fails. It's <laughs> it's children in a lot of ways a lot of time. One way we don't fail is if a boy who's 6'4", 280 pounds is walking around the neighborhood, <laughs> that motherfucker's going to be signed up for football, okay? Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of football teams in the ghetto. But in the movie, they painted it. He, well, okay, first off. He was walking down the street. First <laughs> off, first off, first off. In the movie, they changed from the real story because in the real they, the, the, the son did not uh, befriend the boy first. The father did, right? So they changed it to make it look less like it was a recruiting situation, which it obviously was. Now, me, the way I love, uh, like if I was in his shoes too, I would just go around looking for these kids and I would – Make them into football players. But the whole thing was bullshit anyway. Also, the scene where uh, Sandra Bullock walks into the projects and curses out his mom and all that type of shit, that would have never happened. That white lady would have never gone in the hood in Memphis. There's not a fucking chance <laughs> in the hell. No, I remember she would have made it out I, the projects. I, I, no, I do remember that scene. And that scene... I don't think she would have made it in that neighborhood either. She like, would have left. Definitely. I mean, especially tripping like that. Like, bitch, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? The cops don't come over here. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like, She walking in there looking like that. And like Sandra Bullock is way better looking than the actual mother. But still, it doesn't matter. That lady would have come. That lady got beat the fuck up in there by that <laughs> kid's mother. I'm no, but saying, in the movie, they had no it, in the movie they had it like playing that. like she went in there and said, hey, look here. Yeah. I'm looking yeah. for. Or, yeah, you're you know, yeah. Uh, like, so, so Uber. that whole thing was bullshit too, and they made him out to be retarded, and he let them make him out to be retarded. I mean, he had obviously nothing to do with the movie because basically it was, you know, they didn't say he was retarded, but it was a classic movie like Sling Blade. You know, the little boy found a retarded guy and started <laughs> hanging out with him. That's basically what it was. I mean, Sling Blade was a much better movie though. Sling Blade was a great movie. But anyway, yeah, that Michael Orr situation was complete and total bullshit from the beginning. But I even, saw it. But even I the, everybody did. But even, it even made his, it mad. The, 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 the loose, loosely based on the story did make a very nice Disney. As movie. of 2023, Orr's net worth stands as a subject of debate with, uh -huh. et with, with estimates isolating between $16 million and $25 million. Mm -hmm. A prevailing consensus, consensus pos yeah. positions mm -hmm. his worth around twenty-two million, oh. encompassing his NFL contracts, personal holdings, yeah. and potential earnings linked to the movie and other endeavors. Oh. And this fool is complaining about technically that the parents like come on bro well no he should be complaining because like why but, would they put the ch i mean you know he should have never well, let they it happen were, they in the were first being place. smart on his but end he should, yeah but, on their but end. no but that's not no 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 we can't get in the habit of saying that people who are exploiting people it's just well, no, smarter than but, to but no, but 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 how did if they? If they know? were really trying no, to help, but, then but, they would have helped. But how did the they movie even made three hundred and thirty million dollars? But I'm saying, how would they even have known to even do that before well, they were already before he rich. became famous? Before he, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't no, 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 no. The movie. Oh, you mean when this whole thing was going on? No, 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 no. I'm saying in general, like what he's complaining about uh -huh. is something that occurred a long time ago, before he was famous, before he made the movie. Before he made the NFL, yeah. Before he did all that, but then they so took now, his now, story and they made all the money off of it. Well, we don't have the numbers, and but you know, like there they was, took his. But story. But I still feel, man, sixteen mil to twenty five mil that he's worth. It's like, come on, bro. I mean, okay, but I mean, you can't just say, "Come on, bro." How much are they worth? Uh, well, okay, I mean, but. But like, why do you put a cap on how much he can be worth? He's still owed more. He's the principal. He's he's the star of the the movie. Is his story? He's still owed. I don't give agree. a fuck how much money you have. No, agree. He's owed that money. No, if the, no, agree. But I'm saying at the same time, fool came kind of late complaining. He you know? did come late. I think he was really <laughs> yeah. That I understand. He came yeah. fucking late as hell. You know, he came like, late Yo, as bro. hell. Like you know, That's better late saying. than never. Like I said, did but, he did he have a few more kids or did something happen? That fool trying to get another house and like you know no, what? No, you actually you know no. The motherfucker I, I probably actually could have been net worth a lot more. But no, he but well, he my had to mom know and that dad movie made a grip. Like, didn't really 
adopt me. All they had me as was a, what would they say that he had him as? Conservatorship. Yeah, there you go. Which is written differently, right? It's like written. Well, no, it just means they didn't adopt him. It's well, they're like, saying at the end of the day, when they die, he don't get shit. He was shit. their ward. Yeah, exactly. It was, but, 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 yeah, yeah. That's he was pretty their much ward. what it comes down to. It's like he's like, yo, man, if y'all die, then I don't get shit. Then whoa, 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 what was yeah. the what was the point of y'all taking care of me? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, he was like, uh, <laughs> it's what Dick Grayson was to um, Batman to Bruce Wayne to Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that's why they was a uh, his ward. Dick that's why Grayson. he went. To, that's why he went to. Uh, because if you're adopted, you're a child, you know. Then they have foster children. Then if you have a conservatorship over someone, I am ward over you. Well, you're my ward, right? So instead of the, yeah. Anyway, whatever. So yeah, but the thing is, like one of the things, like their attorney is very good because they're very rich people. Okay, so it says now the, five days ago. Okay. How do you say the last name? T U O H. Tui. Tui. Tui yeah. Attorneys. Michael Orr received 100K in the blindside profits. Uh huh. Same as everyone in family. Uh. Each member of the Tui. Tui family, including Michael Orr, received $100,000 from the uh. profits of the blindside. Okay. The family's attorneys said Wednesday. Which is just, just past Wednesday, so yeah. I, mean, I don't know. That's confirmed. I don't know who. I mean, this is Google. Well, it's the so. attorney. Yeah, no, no, no. I heard this. Keep reading. No, that's it. That's all it says? I mean, that's that's all it says. What did the attorney say? Like, there's more stuff because they, they fired back. Mm. Because they said... Uh, and he's an ex-Raven. He's not even in the... He's not even in there no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He played with the Ravens, yeah. And they're asking also is he broke. There's a lot of shit out there right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. That's it, the whole it, point it, of this. It doesn't the whole matter if he's is... broke or not. He's owed some. Uh, now I don't know if his beef is with the Tuies because there's got to be some accounting because they say everybody only made a hundred thousand dollars. I don't believe that shit. But okay, I think his attorneys and his accountants discovered some other shit in doing an audit, and they were like, "Hold on, we got a hundred grand for this shit." Like they knew it was. It, <sighs> I don't know. I wonder how much he even talks to those people. I mean, he brought in 13.8 mil for a five-year deal with the fucking NFL. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what? But I'm talking about the money made off the movie. This, his this, NFL paycheck is his own paycheck. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, they, they, I mean but in, in the money sense, off of the movie, the money off of his story, like his name was used in the film. It was his story. They optioned his fucking story. It was also the Tui story. So, you know, I'm okay with them also getting paid, but it had to be equal. And I don't believe that they say each one in the family got $100,000. Like, his complaint Man. has to be something else. Now, Man. I remember, like, the lawyer evidently came back pretty hard. But that's what I'm saying. It has to do with, like, when they're not here, when they're, like, if they were to pass away or something. Huh? I'm saying, like, in the end, like, if he's known as, like you said, the term that you had said, conservator. Well, conservatorship, yeah, but see, the oh, conservatorship, conservatorship really should mean nothing in this instance. Because what are you looking for? I'm looking for my phone. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, because I want to look this up. Oh, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Michael Orr was kind of stupid in the first place, but he was also young. <laughs> um, I think he should have been more about his business earlier. But, uh, you know, I think the Tuohys probably did. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they're uh, just old Miss boosters just out here, and they just <laughs> were like, yeah, we can go to old Miss. <laughs> That's all they were worried about. And then, shit, they wound up making more money. They're already worth $100 million. They're very rich fucking people, these people. I don't know how they got their money. Anyway, but okay. So you t- And then you were talking about Big Mike, Michael Robinson. Oh, God. I can't believe people like eh, eh, eh. And then you, you're no, I'm just talking shit. Oh, I know you are, but I don't believe in that shit. (laughs) But there's other shit that you do believe in. Uh, No, there's a lot of stupid shit I believe in. A lot of dumb shit. You're gonna call things you believe in stupid shit. What's the stupid shit you believe in? (laughs) Uh, uh, what are you looking at more, Michael Orr stuff? They they knew. About nine eleven, and nine eleven's coming up. You think who knew about nine eleven? Government knew about it. The United States government. Mm-hmm. Okay, what did they know? Because I, because I'm pretty they sure knew, they, they knew they knew they knew those dudes were 
planning some shit. They knew those specific guys were in the country planning something. There's there yeah they knew that there was ma- there's a few reports on mm-hmm. the given to the president stating like yo like, given to what you mean George W. Daily Bush? briefings yeah okay yeah yeah there oh, yeah. were yeah there were some uh-huh. flags there yeah. I remember hearing about that but did they say specifically who the guys were where they were and we need to stop these guys now yeah but where is the government we did they say that where the government. I don't know if they said that. Okay. I just know that. So do you think that it was an inside job? I haven't heard those the, those things in so many years. It's just so 9/11 weird. 9-11 was an inside job. It's just so weird because like the other day I saw uh, I saw another video of like firefighters. They were just recording themselves like receiving a call, right? During 9-11? Yeah. And they're just there like the street like a normal day. You know, mm-hmm. like any normal day. Who was and filming was, this? The firefighter, and it was almost—I don't know if it was using on, what. It was that's what was so weird, but it was good quality. I have I have it saved. Yeah, it was good quality, and it was on nine eleven. What were they filming with? In two thousand and one, it had to what be what kind of a camera would you have had? Okay, but the video showed them, and then he all of a sudden they just hear and they look up and they hear this plane like riding really close, and it goes right into the uh, building. Excuse me. And then the whole thing about it was just like they played it back and it was just like them just normal day like like we're just like this and all that. Show me this video. I'll show it. So it was just like wow. It was like that that that's a very interesting video because you know, they were minding their, their business. They weren't doing anything, you know As out, everybody out was at that point when that happened. Right, but then after that everybody fucking woke up. Mm. That's what I feel. Woke up. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And what would have been the Bush administration's um, motivation to uh, or another this another time? reset? Another reset. Here you go. Just roll it over. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. I got to swipe to watch. Okay. So you know they're just hanging out. Uh-huh. On the streets of New York, probably lower Manhattan area, obviously, because that's where, um, you know, the towers are at. Oh, wow. And then, boom. This is excellent. This is, okay. Who was that filming, though? Right. But, I mean, that 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 would be a shitty fucking day, you know? That'd be like, what well, the Yeah, it was a fuck? shitty day for a lot if of If I was a firefighter, I'd be like, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, man. That, that means I guess that means that you know. I guess I gotta die. You know. Yeah, lie. You, you know, die. more than likely when I go in that building, I'm probably not gonna fucking come out. <laughs> and that plane's flying so low, and then the firefighter looks up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what's so ironic and, and, about that and video. Like, that's crazy. And he looks back down, and then they're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah. Oh god, yeah, that was crazy. Oh. Yeah, and I can post that video probably when I edit this. I can yeah. probably put it on there. We'll put it on there, man. So like on the video, like I said, if I was that firefighter, you know, oh yeah, you know, we're you know we're responding to a call. Oh, you know, he had to be initially, he and then like, he's just like, "Fuck, <laughs> shit!" Like he didn't know exactly what it was. He was like, "What stupid motherfucking pilot? What the fuck happened?" You know, he was like that at first, and then he figured out. He found no, out what happened. That, that's oh, what shit. I'm saying. Like it's like, oh like, god, yeah. I can just imagine your immediate thing is like. Fuck! <laughs> you know? Oh, I know. Oh, God, yeah. Mm, oh, his like initial feel was like, oh, God, damn, we all gonna have to be down here for this. He was doing something stupid as fuck where they were, they had a good camera on him. He was doing like some, probably some press thing. Um. So, yeah. So, that yeah. I thought that was kind of ironic because 9-11 is coming up again. Uh, I mean, it wasn't ironic. It was just a new piece of footage. Why haven't I seen that footage before? That's well, no, it was ironic footage. just to like... But that's great footage. Why haven't yeah, we seen that footage? We've uh, seen the same 9-11 footage for the past Shane, 22 Shane, years. Shane, uh, that dude, that comedian. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, Shane. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, anyway. throw, throw him there. You know, he heads up to him, but he uh, had a video where it was like these people were... Uh, like saw one that plane had already hit the first plane had already hit Uh and then the second plane yeah they happened to be hanging out drinking already Mm. or 
the first one hit, so they thought it'd be a fucking fun idea to drink some beers and then, like, watch it. Like, Where were they at? They were in downtown Lower Manhattan. Yeah, I mean, I bet. They, I mean, I, and then I, I mean, mean, I they, guess they, at they, first it just seems like a very unfortunate. They, but they event. thought they thought it was like be cool to like, oh yeah, let's get some beers and start hanging out and Did watch think watch cool? another, huh? They, yeah, and then then the fucking then the fucking building fell, like, and then the woman started like screaming in the top of her lungs, and everybody's like, what's going on? It's like, what did y'all think was possibly going to happen? You know, I wouldn't even think maybe you think that was going to happen, but like. Nobody like there was always some sh- crazy shit already happening at that time too, you know. No, that was a very uh, insane event. Yeah, yeah that that that. Where where were you on nine eleven? Where was I on nine eleven? Uh, I was um. Oh yeah 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 on nine eleven yeah. Um, I was in my bed asleep. I had uh, class later. Cause that happened at like class nine, where at U of H. Okay. Yeah, I had class. Class was canceled. I had class. I'd been. I, I yeah. I, I was kind of hungover. I know. I, I like. I remember. I don't remember where I, I was. was the, I was. I was working overnight. Yeah. I don't know where I was the night before, but I remember it was exactly. A good one. Okay, but well, well, I don't remember where I was the night before. I do remember when I found out about nine eleven. No, no. I mean, I remember exactly where I was. Like when I was driving, and that's when they said, uh, like it already hit. I didn't hear it like that. My dad called me. I was on my yeah. I had a Nokia. And I, was like, I was like, and then I was like, fuck. I was yeah. like, damn. My some Nokia, other shit happened? My Nokia I found, like, damn. phone rang. I was like, and damn. And I answered and my dad goes, I'm like, hello. And my dad's like, we're under attack. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, God He's like, the motherfuckers ran planes into the World Trade Center. I was like, oh, they bombed the World Trade Center again. Oh and uh, then I Damn. turned on the TV and it was insanity. I remember that. And then there was no class. Uh, I went and hung out with Marcus. And uh, then I went to Hank's gym. And I worked out and watched all the... Co- oh, that was a... Cra- yeah, I mean, what else could you do? I don't know. Yeah, I remember 9-11. But yeah, I, 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 I wasn't hung over, but I had, I had had a good one that night before. And I had class later on that day at probably like 11. And I was going to wake up at the last possible moment. And my dad called me with that shit. Yeah, I... I my, my 9-11 story is, you know, probably <laughs> typical of most people's stories. But yeah, 9-11, like I, was, I was working... I was working Home Depot. And I was doing stock team. No, we were doing like inventory. Yeah. And then so it was overnight shift that we have to do the inventory. So as we left, we would leave and then head back. Mm-hmm. Like at head back home and then be back again there for another eight hours. It was like from, I forgot it was like nine to six. But then anyways, the drive was home and then I don't, for some reason I guess I was going home and like I said, I heard it on the radio that a plane had hit the tower uh-huh. and then another plane... I guess hit when I got home, mm. and I just remember being at home watching it on TV. Yeah, and I was like, "Wow." Yeah, that was a wild day for TV. I was like, "Man, that's crazy." Yeah, that's all you could say, man. That was crazy. And yeah, it was, was real crazy that day because that day yeah. was just like normal day. Every day starts off as a normal. I mean, then and then all of a sudden you hear about a plane going on a tower, and you're like, "Damn." Yeah, that's yeah, not cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My father was. We're under attack. He's at work. He's yelling. We're under attack. I'm like, what? Yeah, I stayed at home. So I was living at home, and I think my dad was. I don't even know. But I, I, I was working overnight, so I still had to go to bed. So then later on that night, we went back to work, and then everybody was kind of down. And then our boss goes like, "Look, I know what happened, but this work still has to get done." Wow. He goes, and then we're like, yeah, but he should have you know. been canceled. He's like, yo, man, some tower, like some towers fell down today, man. Just like, some towers. Yeah, I mean, that yeah. would even want to have like it seemed like at the time he had one, no reflection about what happened. Like, hey, man, yeah, like, he was like, get the fuck to work. <laughs> yeah, they didn't age well. You still got to work. And I don't the, care. And then that inventory still failed at Home Depot. We still failed that shit. You know? Did you really? <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, they should have canceled. They, they canceled everything failing. else. They canceled college football that weekend. They ended up failing it anyway. So then it was like, oh well. So then, yeah. But yeah, that that was the start of that. And then I think at that time I was like, eh, I don't even think I wanted to go join the navy because at the time I know a lot of guys ran 
A lot so of guys were like, the they office. joined the Marines that yeah, day. Yeah, they joined. And then I was like, eh. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll go ahead and just be a firefighter and just be yeah, a firefighter. Yeah, I remember that. I remember, I remember that period of Danny. Yeah, yeah. yeah Danny, Danny was always me. talking about joining the fire department. Yeah. Every time I saw you. No, but then that's when. See you uh, at the tavern, and Danny's like, yeah, I'm going to do this firefighter shit. But see, then that's when then I went to China. Ah, uh, Gino. I went to China yeah. at 2006. Six, uh-huh. five to six, and then then I came back, and then I left, and then I went back, then I left to the navy. Yeah, and then I did that, and then I came back. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened. If you but then during, there. but that, but but I I knew at the time that was my last chance to do, whether I was going to do it or not. To do what the military? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was yeah, old. yeah, the military. The Navy. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of people joined the military that day on 9-11. Yeah. Me, yeah, I, after I everybody know. saw it, that it shit. It was very surreal. So I just, you know, I just uh, hung around and I got high all day. And then I went to the gym. <laughs> How old were you then? We were, I think we I were. I was 20. Yeah, what, what year did that happen? Yeah, 9-11, 2001. One, yeah. I was, well, I knew it was either 2000 or 2001. Okay, well that's good. I knew you narrowed it down. I knew it was that much. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's 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 that's, that's quite a bit to know. Oh, we got uh, my buddy Eddie. <laughs> what he's watching you? Are you well, putting on Instagram live? Oh, okay, well, whatever. Yeah, man. So, um, anyway, okay. So, uh, is that your only conspiracy theory? You talked about aliens being here. Well, I mean, the spy balloons. I mean, spy balloons are still there. So maybe, possibly. Or are you talking about those lights that everybody saw that night? No, well, I'm talking about the spy balloons that we shot down. Well, the, the, well that, yeah, and they say the Chinese send spy balloons. And then all nobody, the time. nobody. It's pretty fucked up, all the guys. Nobody ever, nobody ever talked about that. Nobody ever got around about that. Well, people talked about it. It's just like, you know, what more could they say? Well, I mean, the, I mean, but people are like kind of still blindsided about like, kind of like, oh yeah, just you know, just like, well yeah, those are, just like I said, there's still a lot of like a lot of people who just look the other way and they just don't really understand. I don't know. I just don't under. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the Chinese would send a balloon, but that's fucking crazy. I no, get. What they no, they knew they. I mean, they. Because yeah. in the long run, they explained that that it just happened to fly over in our territory. It was like, yeah. Yeah. Is that what they said? <laughs> yeah. I remember when that happened. But then we they shot it down. They shot it down once it got to like South Carolina or something. It's already yeah. been across the entire country. Yeah. I don't know what you can do. Like we have satellites and SR seventy one Blackbirds, which they say they don't use anymore. So we got spy planes and spy drones. And I guess the balloon. Where, where did they launch the balloon from? Like did the balloon stay inflated coming all the way from China, or like how? I, that whole thing blew my mind, and I didn't watch that one much. Um, All they would really have to do is come over from um, China. It would have to go either over the Pacific or over. Well, it's going to go over where the the. It's like yeah, well, it's going to be Alaska, like Alaska area, like from. Yeah, I know, Asia. But it's 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 also a balloon. It's going to come through Russia though. Russia's going to let them have it. Like, the you airspace think so? I, Hell yeah! I mean, I don't know. When I, I when I was, when I was in Beijing, Beijing, China, there was a lot of there, yeah, there, there just there's a lot of Russian influence on both ends. Yeah, they used to go back and forth, Russians, and they used to go to China. Do were business. there a lot of Russians in China? China would go to Russia. Did you yeah. see a lot of Russians in oh, China. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot where it was noticeable. Yeah. Well, I guess of, you noticed a lot of a lot of a lot of people Chinese. from India too. A lot of people from India were there too. Were they? Yeah. Hell what were yeah. they doing? They were all just working, doing business. Huh. Beijing was actually like the New York of, in a way of of China in a sense. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, it's a little, yeah. It's, it's like they would Beijing. go there, and there was like a lot of big companies it's were the incorporated of China. there. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Like I understand how big of a deal it is. I just well, Tiananmen Square is there. It's like yeah, the Washington. Course. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like the it's Washington the capital. Of... It's everything. Yeah, Beijing. But then you got is the Beijing, Golden... the only city you were in. No, I went to different places. I went Where to... else you go? I went to uh, Hainan, Sanya. Okay. That's What's like going a, on there? That's just like a military island down south. Uh. 
south of China. Oh. And then I visited. Did you see a lot of Indians and shit there? No, I saw a lot of Russians down there. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, a lot of Russians and then Chinese lived there, but they were all like dark, dark looking Chinese. So a lot of the dark looking Chinese, they were just dark, dark Chinese. They looked hmm. like they looked Hawaiian. Really? Yeah. But yeah, it was like a big, it was almost like a big island, but at the same time, the other half of it was a military island. The other yeah. half was a military island, and then you would see the ships there. How long did you, you spend see people? There? How long did you spend there? Oh, it was like, but see, one half of the island was a resort, the other half was a military island. Like, you know, there were certain areas of that island. Who was you at the resort? To. Russians? Yeah, no, but it was just, but like, I, it was one of those resorts. You pull up, you pull up to the resort, and it's like all open from inside to outside. You know, nice You concierge. were a patron of the resort? Or were you working there? No, I was a patron. I was visiting. Wow. Yeah, we had a vacation. You got a vacation. And yeah, they, and then yeah, we left Beijing, China, yeah. and then you we went to there? Hainan. Yeah, we went to Hainan, Sanya. You flew on what airline? I don't remember. It could wow. have been Air China or China or some shit like that. Yeah. I don't fucking know. But yeah, it was fucking tic tac toe sign with a star in it. Nah, I mean it wasn't. House. I mean it wasn't like that. It was House almost just like Air China though. Of. That's pretty much all there was though. I'm but, just yeah. saying with the letters. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then we left, we went from the, the international international well actually it was the same Blair Witch symbol. It was the same uh airport that was supposed to receive the the, the, the it was supposed to receive that plane from Kuala Lumpur, the one that disappeared, the MH three seventy. Yeah. That like that that airport obviously it was one of the big airports. It was one of the only big airports here right. in Beijing, but that's the same airport where that plane was supposed to go to, and it missed. So what do your conspiracies say about what happened to MH370, right? I believe the government knows where it's at or what so happened you, to it, yeah. The government. Which government? The Malaysian government. Mm. They just don't want to say nothing because of the fact that it's just disheartening of what actually happened, which I that's the part I don't know. The part I would say is just like it's to the point where the pilot, the pilot had a simulator in his house, which uh-huh. that would be kind of normal, I guess. I would hope my any but, pilot. But I then had again, loves piloting so much. But then again, there was like house. intel on there saying that some of that intel of him flying that MH370 was like, like on courses that I don't know. Was, I, I don't know. There was just there was other things they listed, and other things they didn't. That's what I'm saying. But the plane, yeah. the plane did crash. But they're saying why did the plane crash? They don't know. Yeah. What happened with the plane? They don't know. Right. Where did it lose? They don't. They it dropped its signal, but in that area where it dropped the signal, it just fell off the map. Yeah. No more. Yeah. So no. So so no conspiracies about that one. No, I the conspiracy. The conspiracies of the government knows. That's it. That's all. Uh, that's all it is. Like they didn't make it happen though. They just know where it is. And they won't Correct. just go fishing. Well, they water. probably they probably have reason of what exactly happened. Yeah, but they're not going to tell the public. They're not going to tell their the family and you know the family yeah, members. That, exactly that was what definitely happened. a pretty scary story. That one. But yeah. I mean, that's Malaysian it was air. yeah. And then was, and then remember that one Malaysian air they shot that bitch down over the Ukraine. Remember yeah, that yeah, they mistook that shit for uh, something else. They shot that bitch down. But Ooh. that's always happened over the time. That's like at, you know for, not almost it's like happened before we're a commercial airliner. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah, that's definitely. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. Can you imagine? Oh God, yeah. That's why I fly only in the domestic United States. Fuck going over anywhere. Well, no, but that was the chance when I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like when I flew, I had to fly from Hong Kong yeah. to Beijing. Yeah, Delta doesn't do it. And then Hong Kong flew over like Korea Yeah. to Beijing. Right. Like Japan, we had to fly across over. Yeah. It was weird. It was like almost like another seven hour flight. It took yeah. me like 25, 27 hours to get from Houston to China. Yeah, well, I mean, that's. I I never been that I never been that fucking long on a fucking flight. <laughs> yeah, it used to take you several months. Like, that was fucking like going from like a year of your life was spent traveling. And, to and you're going China. backwards. I from I think I would think I don't know if you're going ahead or backwards, but it was all fucked up. Yeah. But yeah, so that trip was over there, and then when I got over there, of course, yeah, totally different lifestyle, totally different world. Whatever. How was the food in China? Yeah, it was just like a lot of broths, a lot of just a lot of broths, like. 
you know, squid, random meat. You had meats. to eat their food. It was like taquerias with like, like taquerias, but like taquerias, like where like you, they open up like a little door. I'm sure there were no taquerias. No, but I'm saying it was like taquerias because the taquerias, like, it was almost like you open up a little door right. and then you just get some meat fucking thrown out of it. Uh-huh. And then the meat's thrown out, and then you don't even know what kind of meat it is. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, but we would yeah, eat the shit. Uh, did you? Yeah. I, would, I, I would eat nothing. It, there's McDonald's in Beijing, right? And then you throw some white rice. They always had rice everywhere. Yeah, that was of always course. a deal. Those people and their rice. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But I mean, they we were working a lot. So that was another thing. We yeah. were working a lot. So we would you eat. You didn't eat how much? Did you cook for yourself? I would I would constantly cook. For no, myself. well we had we I had a, we had a hotel but room. Chef Boyardee. The hotel okay. room is where we stayed at. So the hotel right. room is where just where we were at. Was there a so. McDonald's? Yeah, there was a McDonald's. I was eating that every day. Yeah, well there was a McDonald's, but then that shit gets old. McDonald's and KFC and all that. Yeah, yeah I would eat nothing but that. But you I mean, went into the or and if they had a PF Chang's, I would have gone there. No, they had them, but that was... They like, had a P.F. Chang's? Yeah, but that was farther. There was a P.F. Chang's in Beijing? Not a, not No, it was like some American restaurants. It was like... Uh, TGI Fridays? Yeah, there you go. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? It was Applebee's there? No, TGI Fridays was there. By Olive Garden. I don't know about Olive No, Olive Garden was there. Red Lobster. No, Red it was Lobster. like like KFC, Pizza Hut. Okay. KFC, Those Pizza Hut, or... Uh, Pollo Campero. Pizza Hut, Caves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Popeyes, no. Popeyes, yeah. Popeyes. No, 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 no. Popeyes, no, no, no. Churches. I'm getting, I'm getting that mixed up with Navy. <laughs> Na- okay. In the sandbox. Was churches chicken then- there? Like Texas chicken is what they called it? No. No, 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 no churches. Mm, no Jack yeah. in the Box. No, no Jack in the Burger Box. Burger King? No, nah, no Burger King. That's from I remember. Hmm. What about Panda Express? No, nah, I wouldn't know shit. <laughs> of course not. It was always some weird shit at the and like it was in the mall and it almost yeah. reminded like like back in the day in the mall like you go to the mall and they have the big food courts yeah and but there would probably be some random weird shit yeah so most of the time we always go to McDonald's or go to like KFC that's all I'd eat if I was in China it's McDonald's I'm sorry yeah unless you go to some high end Chinese restaurant though but it's like real Chinese food there yeah but yeah sometimes the real shit ain't ain't the shit. <laughs> you know But yeah Did we talk about the fight yet? Which fight? The Mali fight Who? The Mali No let's talk about it Alright the fight with uh, Sterling That was this past weekend uh, Okay So that fight happened And everybody was hoping Mali, Mali was gonna lose Or they didn't think he was gonna win Cause Sterling had already fought Henry, we said the name earlier. Henry Cejudo. How, Cejudo. How you can't say that name. I don't know. I just want to make sure I say it right. And I sound, I sound stupid. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, God. Henry's an ex gold <clears throat> wrestler. Right. Gold medal. In the gold Olympics? medal. Yeah. I, like yeah, Kurt Angle. I, I, some shit like that. So, some shit like that. Yeah. So, but, I mean, obviously, this was, he was at one point pretty good at fucking wrestling yeah, for yeah, his freestyle race wrestling. Yeah. So, he goes to the UFC, becomes MMA. You know, um, anyways, he it was the last opponent that he went that that he was the last opponent po- last opponent against Sterling. Okay. And then now, obviously, Sterling went against Mally. Okay. Mally knocked him out in the second Mally. round. Okay. Yeah. Like pretty much knocked his. And this is what weight ass. class? Because I don't keep up with the UFC. It's like one forty five. One forty five. What do yeah. you call that? Is that that's bantam weight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, band and weight it would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, so that was a big deal. Uh, Pay per views through the roof. Uh, now they're hyping up the December one, which the December one, that might card might be pretty fucking badass because Mally would be on that one. Okay. Along with uh, Chamoff and uh, Costas, Coast Costas, yeah, Costa, 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 Costa is going to be coming from uh, Brazil. Oh, and then yeah. Jamav is obviously Chechen. Chechens uh, are fucking tough ass motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, Dagestan. Yeah, there's some tough dudes. Those yeah, motherfuckers. I would they, see earthquakes. Like when they're like four years he old. Was talking about cats from Dagestan. When they're like four years old, they just throw them out fucking yeah. in the cold and shit. Yeah. Fucking go and chop some wood and fucking. Yeah. You got to go out and spend come and three years you. with the wolves. <laughs> yeah. And bears. And bears. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, well, that's how. What's his name? Got well, good. Wolves at, actually raise children though. Right. The, Mowgli. 
No, uh, I don't think bears would raise a child. <laughs> no, but did you, you seen the video child. of uh, of? Damn it. Anyways, uh, Khabib. Khabib going. His dad used to throw a little baby bear with him. Oh, really? And then he would wrestle with the bear. <clears throat> There's video of that shit. Nothing in the world uh, to me is crazier than yeah. white Muslims. Like, so I think that's December, October. No, I, it might be October. So that might that fight might be Slavic October. Muslims. <laughs> yeah. What, so. what are you? Yeah. Why? So. Oh God, that's frightening. So that yeah. So I'd I guess be frightened to be in Dagestan. Yeah, it's a, it's not a. I don't think it would be a cool place. It's no, a very cold place. No. Yeah, it is. I'd Probably like to go to, to Moscow there. one day. Like I always thought that would be Fuck a nice that. trip. Yeah, well, I would. I wouldn't go. go I wouldn't go to Moscow now. I wouldn't go there now. No, no, they wouldn't. No, Fuck I wouldn't. That. No, I wouldn't even go. I don't, actually Moscow I don't, and Kiev. I don't even think I would ever go there. I want to go to Kiev. They call it Kiev now, but I would want to go to Kiev. They call it Kiev, but I would want to go to Kiev and Moscow. I would go back to China before I would go to. Uh, yeah. Moscow. I wouldn't even go back. To, I wouldn't even go there. Yeah, we yeah we talked about that nineteen and a half. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, where I figured I would fare better in Moscow. I'll go back to Thailand. I bet you would. I'll go back to Thailand and go get some more Muay Thai training. Uh-huh. Nah, yeah, I never trained there. Just <laughs> oh, you, you not been, at the you time. Been to Thailand, no, though, huh? no, but at the time, I, 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 I you went to Thailand I, when you were in China. Yeah, I went to Thailand. Yeah. What part of China is Thailand in? Thailand's south of Asia, so it, it's, China's it's, more it's, north. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's north with with Moscow, well, with right. Russia, I guess. Yeah. And then you got Thailand, which is a little bit souther. Um, yeah, it's it's much souther. Yeah. So yeah, when I when I when I went, like I said, I regret it. Is, now, when I go back now, I'm right. definitely going it's back India. to go to a uh, camp. But there, you get man, you get there is like to go you, to Thailand. Yeah, hell yeah, lady boys in Thailand. No, I'm not going there for I'm not going there for lady boys. They're authentic looking. <laughs> oh no, over there they they fucking there's like they're like cockroaches out there, man. The the lady boys are like dude, cockroaches. they're all over the place, bro. <laughs> you gotta like be <laughs> careful. Like cockroaches. Yeah, you gotta I'm be sure like cockroaches real careful. Are in abundance in Thailand, also. But there's one of those things too. You could definitely like. They stand out, you know, and then they they hang out in certain groups. And then I think like, that's the problem. They don't stand out. No, nah, well, to some men that are drunk and misled, or go there for that reason. Then, you think yeah. anybody? Yeah, I don't think anybody's drunk, or uh, people are drunk, but I don't think anybody's misled when they get a lady boy in Thailand. No, I'm going to say they're misled, but I'm saying yeah, like, not misled. but some of them are they're too drunk, they yeah, don't know, way. or some of them don't give a fuck. Misled by Satan. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, they. I guess they're well, they're yeah by Satan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but that's more like the alcohol, man. Like they get so fucked up over there. That's what I'm saying. At the full moon parties oh, there yeah, in Thailand, they have well, no, it's Thailand. It's Costa Samui. Costa Samui has full moon parties. Costa Samui has out in the beach, mm-hmm. big bonfires. Um, I've never been. Okay. Never made it over there. Uh, but I always knew if I didn't make it, it uh, that you had to be very this careful is where because they Thailand? do the same shit. Yeah, Thailand. What about Phuket? Phuket, Phuket, yeah, I've been to Phuket. You've been to Phuket. Phuket, yeah. What happened there? Oh, Phuket was a. They got hit by the tsunami there. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But what happened with you there? What do you mean? I don't know what was going. On. I heard Phuket's a wild time. No, no, no. It's Fifi Islands. Well, Phuket, Phuket's wild. Phuket's just a wild. Just it's almost going to be like Bourbon Street. Walk up and down. Yeah. A lot of girls. Everybody's out in the street. Everybody's Something getting like drunk. Bourbon whatever. <laughs> everybody's getting drunk. And then they have like these big pavilions with all these different bars under them. You go to all these different bars; they're all there. And then you know, um, in the middle bar, there might be like fucking lady boys over there. Over here, there's a regular bar. Over here, there's a bar. It's under all one big pavilion. That's what I'm saying. In Thailand, you really can't get away from that shit. The only way you can get away is just pay mind your business, you know. Yeah, but then this? you see some men down there; they're they're there for that shit, you know. They're there for that for that. Lady boy shit. Yeah, a lot of them are there for children too. But yeah, yeah, they're there. They're there for that too. Yeah. So when I was staying there, I was actually staying with a an Australian, and then Australian was a retired cop from Australia, mm. and he went there with him and his buddy, and they opened up a hostel, mm. and I ended up staying in his hostel, huh. and uh, he had got divorced from us from his wife in Australia. Yeah. And then went to Thailand and retired what the there. Fuck, w- and else Phuket, was he running in Phuket, from? in Phuket. No, he wasn't running from anything. I don't think. To. No, a lot he of left guys. Australia to go to Phuket. No, but Australia is like our like where we go to Mexico over here. 
That's like Australia's Mexico over there. Like they go there for vacation yeah. a lot. You see, that's what I'm saying. You see, only a, we can drive to. But Mexico. you see a lot of Aussies there. They're all there, up and down the street. There are a lot of Australians up walking. Aussies around Aussies are everywhere, but fucking Australia. They're even, they're over here too. So yeah, but I'm saying like they're the the Australians were, you know, running deep over there. You know, huh. yeah. So, but no, definitely when I go back, I definitely if I would go back, I would go to. <sighs> Yeah, I, I forgot where the... I would definitely go back to some camp and spend a week there at a camp. That would be cool. Mm. And that would be really fun. Because you're you going to the heart of that shit, you know? Right. Hopefully I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I think I think one of the guys that's from the gym is on here. I don't oh, know. good. Huh? That's good. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, hopefully I get back to the gym. We will see. Um... Like I said, that was the whole other thing with me doing this podcast was that now I have a little more time on my hands, but obviously I got other ventures I'm following through with. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm back in school now. These other ventures are uh, definitely going to take some time, but you know, overall, you know, once everything follows through, you know, hopefully the podcast will be a little bit bigger. But we're, I mean, like I said, I'm. I'm coming back in another week. So another week I'm having another one. Of so course. so I mean probably be a solo episode, maybe not. If you 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 know, you know you can always come back. You're always mm. you know, but yeah. It's nice to feel welcome. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, wait, what else did you want to talk about though? Uh, Garcia talking oh yeah, and then Garcia apparently because after the fight, Mally, um back to that fight, um mm-hmm. uh, Mally was talking about he wanted to fight Javante uh Javante. Javante Davis. Davis, yeah. In a boxing match? I don't know, man. Like he's but he's but he's in contract with UFC, so I don't even know how that would work. But uh I know I when you're in contract with UFC, he would have to get out of contract, but he, he just needs to slow his roll. I mean, over, unless but. Dana White does like he did with the Mayweather fight. Yeah, that but he can't part of it. where did I put that? Unless he's trying to do the same uh, method as uh as if, if he's trying to still do the same thing that McGregor did. Yeah. You want me to already call it or what? Huh? Or actually, I can't. No, 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 no. It's sure? in here somewhere. You sure it's not in the covers? Under what? I don't know. It's somewhere in here. I ain't worried about it. I'll get it when I got to get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what were we talking about? UFC? Yeah. You were talking about Gar. Who is Garcia? It's not Ryan Garcia. No, Ryan Garcia. So Ryan, Ryan Gar- Garcia, the boxer? So Ryan Garcia uh-huh. jumped in and said to Mally, it was like, Hey, man, don't holler at Javante Davis. Holler at me if you really want to fight. Mm. And then Mally hit back at Garcia and was like, what are you talking about? Why would I want to fight you? You lost to He did Davis. get beat by Javante. <laughs> so then he goes, man, like boxing and MMA are totally different things. Yeah. Garcia, I really don't know where to say or where, where I stand with Garcia. The only thing I can say about Garcia, I haven't seen him out that much. I've seen Davis out there a lot more. But but Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia has just been Ryan Garcia. Yeah, uh, I, I know I know he's fought quite a bit, but I don't know exactly what happened with the promotion that he had running for him. Right. I don't know if he got the correct training. I don't know if his his camp was good going for him. Right. I don't know none of that. But my point was like he did lose. He lost pretty bad. Yeah. You know. So I mean that is that. <sighs> So yeah, man. I mean, we're just I'm just, you know, getting everything out there. So, I mean, out there. So, uh yeah, I'm going to uh start being abreast of things. <laughs> so, for next show next week or whatever or later on this week, whenever you want to do it, I'm down to record anytime. Yeah, so this is the new setup. But, so, uh, definitely I'm going to start staying abreast of the news. I'm going to have a lot to talk about with the new gig and and certain things, but uh and we'll uh I'll um I'll definitely keep abreast of things, news and sports. Uh you should too. You no, to I mean but uh cron dot com. Well, I mean that's the whole thing with this podcast too. So now that I'm gonna be putting more episodes out, uh I'm also gonna chronicle me working out more. So Oh, are you? Yeah. Uh, you gonna put those on your uh Instagram, the Tristan's con- yeah. Yeah, so right now priority is uh school, workout. Okay. 
school and work out, yeah. And then everything else, things I need to take care of, which would be we other types of work. We should both work out and turn this into a fitness. Well, it's, it's job talk. So, I mean, like I said, yeah, when he, maybe talk. when it gets a little cooler, maybe we can do it outside and I'll have a fire going or some yeah. shit. But, I mean, definitely we can do some things here. So All right. But, yeah, everything's going good. I mean, I'm good. Uh, everybody's been wondering. <laughs> yeah. A few people have been wondering, calling me. Ask me what's been going on. They've been saying hello. I've been busy, man. So, and then you know that. I mean, I know you've been busy too. So yeah. I've been bu- real busy. So, um, a lot of people, if I hadn't said nothing, you know, to them or replied back, you know, sorry, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell them. So uh-huh. I've just been busy doing a bunch of shit. So uh-huh. trying to stay afloat, you know, because like I said, the reason I have all this time is that things are a little diverted, a little. You know, I had a curveball thrown at me. So with that curveball, I had to like tap out of training. I couldn't get back into uh, uh, Muay Thai, box, kickboxing, or um, I was training at Paradigm. So I had to drop out. So, but but I've been maintaining as in just running. But I have I've gained a few little pounds. <laughs> of course, this beer that I'm drinking is probably not helping. But um, that was just for tonight, for the celebration of episode 20. <laughs> <laughs> so with it being episode 20, which is going to be posted, hopefully no later than Wednesday, coming this week, um, post episode 20 on YouTube. It's on my uh, Instagram. It's on my link. So my link is right there. Um, what's up, Daryl? <laughs> Daryl's... Uh, He's one of the guys that was with me in China. It's pretty huh. funny. Pretty funny. I still keep in touch with a few people. Huh. So, uh, but yeah, so um, more fights are coming up. Uh, I mean, Sheila Jackson Lee's going for mayor here in Houston. Yeah. Um, yeah. Busby's talking shit, saying he might run for mayor. Hey. I don't know who knows that's going to happen. Yeah. Who gives a uh, shit? Um, I saw the reason why Manziel. Dropped out of the NFL. Uh, okay. <laughs> like that, any other. It's like that. It's like, like real quick. It's like that whole thing of like, I guess everybody's peak. You make your peak. And then once you make that peak, like, like what else is there? But leading up to the peak. So it's like he, he peaked too early. You know what I'm saying? Like for freshman year. Yeah. He, he peaked too early. He peaked too early. So like when you peak too early That's like that. That's a good that, way of putting it. When you pick that that wise that that, that early, like what else? Like he lost gas. He lost gas. He was yeah. just like he was just moving he was just too like fast. he was just he like was, fuck it. Nah, like well, nah, he was just he's like I already made fast. money. Like what the fuck is like like nah, he was, he, uh, yeah he was just and he literally got stuff. everything he wanted. Mm. Did he not? I, I suppose I don't. know. I mean, he made it to the in the first round. He made it to the NFL. Well, he did that. He did do it. But they yeah. but then he didn't want it after all. He, yeah. he, he didn't like being told what to do. That was the fucking yeah. problem. Uh-huh. Now, on the other side, I would say he was probably pissed because they were making money off of him because he was such a good player. But then that's just the yeah, NCAA. He would have also been making a lot of money. So, I don't know. I, Johnny Manziel's an unfortunate story. I'm going to have to watch that Netflix documentary. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm surprised they don't have a Vince Young. I bet you they already tried to add Vince Young before him. I bet you Vince Young's like nah. Well, Vince Young played. Vince Young's like mul- nah. Multiple years in the league, and uh, he's got a pretty good thing going in Texas. So he it's tried good. to push me in uh, in one of the. Nah, maybe I should bring it up. Well, no, bring it, it up. He tried. No, to no, push yeah, you yeah. Well, it was uh, when he got dropped from uh, the Cleveland Browns. Who Manzo? No, no, Vince no, Young. No, Vince Young. This is back like in 2014, 2015. With the Browns. And we were in, we went to this club, mm-hmm. uh, Fifth Element, okay. and this dude just bumped into me. Uh-huh. He's just like, I'm just there, and this dude just bumped into me, and I kind of like laying back, and then this dude like, I, I like, like just like kind of pushed me, and then I looked back, I'm like, oh shit, did I just get punked by Vince Young? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, but nah, this fool like pushed me, it was Vince Young, man. This yeah. fool like had his hat down. It was like, you know, obviously, you know, it's Vince Young, man, you know. I was only like a buck, like, maybe like 170. Yeah. 
I was, I was a little bigger then, you know. Yeah, I know. That nigga would have thrown you up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that motherfucker was like, what, 6'3, 6'2? Uh, probably like 210, 210. Quite two, a bit more. Than oh, that. no, at that time, he probably like 230 yeah, after all the drinks and shit. But yeah, he definitely looked fucked up, and then a bunch of security like ran around him. <laughs> Did you got, nah, he wouldn't have beat your ass. The security would have beat the shit out of you. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it didn't happen. So, thank goodness. Oh, boy. But yeah, man. We can call it a night, man. Yeah. And yeah. Then, I mean, we definitely got some so. stuff out. I definitely uh, glad I uh, got some material. Yeah, man. I think, look at me. Going here. I'm sitting there watching myself kick my feet. But yeah, we'll be good, man. Um, you know, <laughs> it'll get better as we go along. We got to actually, like, you know, like, it's okay to do some show prep. We don't have to wing it every time. No, Put minor no. show prep. No, I got you, Danny. Don't worry about it. I'm down with you. Okay? I'm riding with you. Yeah? Yeah, man. Regardless. So, uh, episode 21 or whatever number it'll be by then. You don't have to do a solo show. You know? Not if you don't want to. Not if you want to just. No, nah, man. I mean, this is sure. open door for you. This is, I mean. Well, that's good to Like know. I said, uh, here we are. I think okay. I think finally I'm in my my place where I like to be at right now. You know. Well, good. That's and what that I'm talking being about. Said, you know. All right. Well, how do you close it out? How do you close it? You say this has been Tristan Shop Talk. <laughs> nah. So a week from now, like mm-hmm. I said, I'm I'm going to do the same deal and okay. come out here and have some more to talk about. Make sure we get this one out, though. I mean, just put it somewhere. Like, it'll just be sitting there. Somebody will probably discover it in 50 years when we're both dead. No, no, I mean, I'm definitely getting better on this uh, editing thing. So the editing is definitely working. Yeah, I want to see the uh, final, uh, you know, the edit and all that. Uh, I I wish I knew how to do it. One day I'm going to have to come over here and, and watch you do it and help you do it. But I am trying to come up with the name for the studio. Okay. Well, from actually the production company. Uh, right now, it's just going to be still Tristan's Contracting LLC. Right. Um, that was another thing I was going to bring up was that I'm still pushing Tristan's Contracting LLC. Mm. I am still attempting, if anybody needs any type of services or anything, just yeah. hit me up on my Instagram. Please do. Uh, let me know whether it is pressure washing your house to... Okay. Maybe you have a general question about something that needs to be done at your house. Okay. Uh, Tristan contracting is still in effect and Fluffing still your husband living. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not that, but <laughs> Tristan's contracting uh, LLC is okay. at your doorstep, uh, phone call away, a message away, link on my click on my link, Instagram. I am there. Even in the middle of the night, if something was to happen and there was some shit that you needed fixed or some shit or just a question, hit me up. Mm. I I do um, I, I I do plan on giving out my other number. I am mm. gonna have another new number okay. coming out, but uh, here it is, and it will, we'll we'll debut world premiere that new number. Yeah. So Tristan, shop talk. All right. This is em- a- a- ending uh, episode twenty. Yeah. Thanks, bro. All right. Back. Thank you for having me, sir. Definitely, man. All right, that wasn't bad. I think the second round.